You wish to create a scholarship fund that pays $10,000 to a recipient three times every year. However, you only have $300,000 to invest today. If the fund to which you are investing earns 8% compounded quarterly, how long do you have to wait before you can award the first scholarship? Notice that we're dealing with a perpetuity, and in fact we're dealing with a perpetuity due, because what we're going to do is we're going to award that first scholarship right away. We know that the present value of a perpetuity due is the payment divided by i plus the payment. However, we do have to go look at our payment structure as well as our compounding structure. Here, our payment structure happens three times every year, whereas our compounding structure is quarterly. That does mean that we are going to have to calculate I2. Starting with our open bracket, let's go ahead and program in our 1 plus 8% compounded quarterly. And then we're going to raise this to the power of open bracket 4 over 3, because we're making 3 equal size payments every year. And then we're going to close that bracket and subtract 1. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to store this value under number 9. And then what we're going to do is come back to our present value formula. Let's fill in $10,000 for the equal payment size. And we're going to take that $10,000, we're going to divide by I2, so recall number 9. I'm going to hit the equals button here and then go ahead and add that extra payment that we need right away of $10,000. This implies that we're going to require around $383,759.63 in the account before we can start paying out to our recipient those groups of $10,000. And this brings us into the second part of the question. We are going to have to apply the formula for N for typical compound interest. In other words, we want to figure out how long it's going to take 300,000 to grow to 383,759.63 at the rate of 8% compounded quarterly. So I'm taking the logarithm of the future value over the present value and then dividing by the logarithm of 1 plus i. Simplifying this expression, we get that n is about 12.43. So what we want to do here is we would like to round that up to 13. And then to finish off the question, we want to apply our formula that n is equal to t times f. So if we have n is equal to 13, and we know that the compounding frequency is 4, we should be able to solve for how long it's going to take us by taking 13 and dividing by 4. 13 divided by 4 gives us that we need to wait about 3.25 years before we can start giving away these payments of $10,000.